Hello and welcome to another DIY Engineers video. In this video we'll be going over the rain sensor with Arduino. We'll be covering the sensor pins. We'll be covering voltage readings from the sensor so you can see how the analog and digital output works. We'll work out how to connect it with the Arduino. We'll show you how to program an Arduino. And we'll do testing with both the analog output option as well as the digital output option. So if you want to see more stick around to watch the rest of the video. The rain sensor has two main components. We got the sensor pad over here and the sensor circuit board. The sensor pad, you're gonna to connect to the main sensor circuit board through these two pins. And so when there's water on this top surface, these two pins will be used to send a signal to the main sensor circuit board. All right, so now you know to connect the two pins out of the sensor pad to the two pins out of the sensor circuit board. So then what do you do with the other four pins on the other side of the sensor circuit board? These are VCC, ground, DO, and AO. VCC will be connected to the main positive voltage of the power source, for the sensor, and ground will be connected to the ground associated with that power source. Then DO will be your digital output coming out of the sensor to be connected in, let's say, the digital input of the Arduino, and your AO to the analog input of the Arduino. The AO will provide an analog signal, which will be a numeric value ranging from 0 to 10,023, which is representative of how hard it's raining, whereas DO will simply provide a yes or no, meaning is it raining or is it not, which will be adjusted or dependent on the sensitivity based on the input or setting in the potentiometer. So to provide a little bit more detail, I'm going to take voltage readings between AO and ground, as you can see in the image on the right. So right now we're showing 4.95 volts, which means a high. But if I pour some water on it, you can see how this analog output now goes to roughly 1.1 volts, and it might increase all the way to 1.2 as the water kind of moves through the sensor. If I go ahead and swap this, you will see that now I get a constant low value. This is indicative of now swapping to the digital output and getting simply a low reading, which will be essentially a false, which would allow the Arduino to know that, hey, there's rainwater in the sensor. So now we talked about how to connect the sensor pad to the sensor circuit board, but now let's go over how to connect the sensor circuit board to the Arduino Uno. First, we gotta connect VCC to the five volt port on the Arduino Uno. We're also going to connect ground to ground. Finally, AO to A0 in the analog input of the Arduino. Now, if it wasn't obvious, this is for the analog input configuration. If you want to use the digital output way, we still connect VCC to 5 volts. We still connect ground to ground. But then we connect the digital output of the sensor circuit board to digital input number 4 on the Arduino. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the Arduino code for the analog input option. So first we're going to go ahead and define the rain signal variable, which is just going to be A0, to define the analog pin, which we're going to be using on the Arduino Uno. Then under void setup, we're going to begin the serial communication such that we can then print to the serial monitor the values from the sensor. Then once we get to the void loop, we are going to define rain as basically the variable associated with storing the values that we're reading from the analog input under analog read, read, sorry, and then the rain signal, which is just A0. So that way we're basically reading pin A0. Then we're going to print the word or the phrase rain level. And then after that, we're going to print the value associated with the variable that we're reading. Then we're going to have a delay because there's no need to get readings you know, super frequently. We're actually going to be doing it five times per second or every 200 milliseconds. Now, if you want to copy and paste the code that we're looking at, just go ahead and head out to DIYengineers.com and check out the post associated with this video. I'll leave the link in the description for you to do that. If you want to just then, once you get there, head over to the code section and you'll see both the analog output option and the digital output option. Then, whichever one you want, just go ahead, hover over it, select the code, and then just copy and then go to Arduino and paste it. Now let's go back to the code. So now let's go ahead and run the code. Let's open the serial monitor and we can see that right now the sensor is dry and it's showing a 1023 analog value. Now let's go ahead and pour some water over the sensor and we'll see how this value will drop, which is consistent with, you know, sensing some rainwater. If I go ahead and tilt it up, we'll see some of the water will drain off and the value will go up, but it's still kind of like in between. If 
I go ahead and dry it a little bit more, that value will increase. But I didn't do a good job, so still not quite at where we started. And if I dip it in water or, you know, get it wet again, it will drop again. So you can kind of see how this analog signal gets you a reading rather than a wet or not wet or raining or not raining. So now let's take a look at the code for the digital output option. Main difference is first we define the pin that's going to be used for the digital I.O. pin. In this case, number four uh, in the Arduino Uno. We're also going to define the sensor state. In this case, we're setting it equal to one. And this is a variable that we're going to use later in the code. You can set it equal to zero if you want. It's, it's not really going to make a difference. So then we're going to set the pin mode. Here in this case, we're going to assign, you know, rain ditch signal in this case, which is equal to four. And we're just going to set it as an input. And we're also going to go ahead and begin the serial uh, communication such that we can then send values to the serial monitor for us to read later once we run the code. Then we're going to go ahead once we're in the void loop and we're going to print in the serial monitor the reigning status. And then after that, we're going to compute the sensor state, which is equal to the value associated with the digital input. So we're going to read it and we're going to, you know, reference the signal uh, IO pin number, which is number four. Then we're going to have an if statement. So if that sensor state equals one, we're going to say it's not raining. Else we're going to say it's raining. And then we're going to enter a 200 millisecond delay as we did in the previous one. So now let's go ahead and run the code. We can see that the sensor is not wet yet. And this is also reflected in the serial monitor when it's not raining. Once the top of the sensor touches the water, we're going to see the status changes to raining. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe. Thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye.